Hi guys and welcome back to another episode on Serene Craft. Today is episode 14 and I am back up at the main base, going to get some work done today. So I'm waiting for Stephen to come on, we're going to do a little bit of building together. Now this is kind of our joint project, um, so that's why there is a little bit more done than there was last time I did episodes. So life has been a little bit hectic, so I'm sorry about the delay in episodes. Um, but I've got a little bit, little bit of time this week, so I will get some recording done. Now you can see we've got some of the stone bricks uh, built here, which you haven't seen. There's a few other things done. Stephen has done a lot of these. Um, I've done a few. And then we've started up on the stairs as well. But um, I'm kind of taking a break from um, stone today. We need something a little bit different. So... Let me find, that needs to be there. This is what I'm going to start with today. We're going to start, we're going to build the item frame. Um, obviously I am in my texture pack, so let's just turn that off so we can see it in vanilla. When it loads, there we go. That's better. So this is what we're going to build. I've turned off um, the particles. So we can see it properly but we're going to build the item frame and the torch now uh, the torch is a bit difficult but we're going to talk about that with steven when he gets here and how we're going to do that and the only other thing is i did have a slab in here which goes around it but it's going to be a little bit difficult to do so we'll see how that goes later um, but that shouldn't take too long because it's quite a small um, part so the next thing we're going to be working on is the oak here on the um the dark oak sofa so we've got the solid blocks and then we've got stair and then the corner stair piece and then i'm going to be trying to get the banners done now the banners should be nice and easy because they're pretty much just one color it looks like one color here and then the outline is slightly darker maybe i, should, I would do that maybe i might use like light blue concrete and light blue wool around the outside and then this one is again it's an item frame uh, you can't really see it all, so I'm going to try and figure out how to do this. We'll probably do the item frame, frame the actual light wood part, and then the banner hanging directly in front, so we don't actually need um, this kind of this part of the item framing. But I'll see how it goes um, and what it looks like when it's built. And then the banner here is just going to be, I think, brown concrete, and then maybe brown terracotta if that's i think that's a little bit darker whichever whichever other brown block is a little bit darker than concrete um on that and then i'll just use uh either light gray or white concrete to do this which is if i can get it off uh there we go it's just an iron trap door on a um on an item frame for that so that is what we're going to get done today now if we get time we can do the sofa and we can also do the one over here if we've got enough resources to do all of it we can get all that done and then on this level once they are done i think we are finished on this level um all the way around we've actually just done normal stone brick instead of the uh, mossy and the cracked um because it did take a really long time to have to do both different types uh, then the only thing left on the outside will be plants and things like that, which I think we're going to leave all the flowers and stuff to later on. Or maybe, maybe we'll just do an episode on flowers because these are going to be a little bit more difficult. But yeah, that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to uh, head off, get a bit of resource gathering, make sure we've got our schematic designs ready for building this. And then when Stephen gets on, we can uh, get a little bit of work done.
torch built now, and we're going to move on to the other thing in a minute. So when he gets back, whatever he's gone. So I'm just going to stand around and wait um, and get some resources. I, oh, I've got a torch up there. I need to get rid of that torch that's randomly placed. But this, uh, obviously, I, you can't make a big torch um, work. But if you can see up there, we've just placed some torches on the back of it there because you can't really see the torches. So we're just going to wait till night time and see if that lights up. Uh, lights up enough that you can, you know, it gives you a little kind of lit up area in this area maybe we need a couple more torches up there or something but uh, I did try it with glowstone as you've probably seen but it just didn't work very well with that so um, then we can go in and start working on the dark oak the other thing that I want to do while we wait around is change this because the reason this goes down like this if we go over here you can see we have our little pathway here that goes down by one pixel well one pixel normally um, but we've got this weird kind of colour, so instead, I'm not really going to do the texture of it, but I think I'll go and get some, um, what's it called, the, 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 the dirt, what's it called, the dirt that doesn't grow grass, coarse dirt, yeah, I think we'll get some coarse dirt and um, fill this whole thing with coarse dirt and it gives it that kind of slightly different colour, so I think I'm going to do that while I'm waiting um, for it to come back into the dark oak. Okay, so almost finished with this coarse dirt. I think just about picked, made enough blocks. There we go. So eight stacks was enough. So that now will stay kind of that colour. I mean, it is a little bit darker than uh, it is over there, but it looks fine from all the way out here to the hill. I mean, we could take it all the way out and do it further, but yeah, it's, then we have to move squid farm we have to get rid of the hill we have to move the sugar cane and i really can't be bothered with that so i am going to take a little break while i wait um and we can get working on some more blocks inside and hopefully get the bottom layer finished today okay i want to collect dark oak okay i want it to set my entry up where what's why did you make cocoa beans again Brown dye. But do, do I still need it now? We need brown, we need brown concrete. Oh, do you want me to make? Okay, I'll make brown concrete then. Can you make it daytime as well? Oh, hold on, wait, I need to. Look I can't make daytime. That's cheating. Oh, the torch is lit up. It's cool. I can't see it because I can see bright all the time. It's only slightly lit up, but you can see it. It's not as dark as the rest of it. <sighs> I need sand. I have to go down to the bulk storage. We should have some crafting tables on the floor in here. In where? I'll put it in the bottom of the bulk storage. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. I, I can do it. It's just, uh. I got lazy. Otherwise, I have. I mean, I, to be honest, it's, I'm being lazy wanting to craft down here. Because I, I have usually, to run down here to get sand. I usually make storage areas so that you don't have to move to reach a crafting table, no matter what chest you're in. You can just reach one from wherever you stood. And that's, that's what I like. I'm just going to make the whole floor out of crafting tables. <laughs> <laughs> that would look ugly. Actually, I think that's, it would look pretty cool. That's actually something Oval or Brandon would do, probably. No, if you think of the texture of crafting tables. It's not that bad. It's that, Where like, can the, I top, put... the top of a crafting table is that, like, checkered thing. Yeah, they're, they're good for door mats, but they're not really yeah. good for anything else. They look like cloth, so you can use them. I'm going to do it. In a micro do, base, you can here, use... I'm just going to change the floor to crafting tables. Now I'll come back and check. I'll use Robac. <laughs>
Okay, so there we have that built now. I, I did go off, it got a bit late after that recording last night, so uh, I went off and Stephen was finishing this one and he's obviously also built this here. So we've got the sofa part finished now, so all that's left to do up here is to do the item frame on this, uh, or the outside of the item frame, and the banner on it, and then we've got the banner that goes up there, and then we've got one more of these uh, blocks to build uh, over the other side, uh, which will also have a banner on. So I'm going to grab... Uh, the rest of the resources we've got left over for these blocks um, and then once the other block is finished we can get the banners up and done. I uh, probably need to gather some resources for this one up here because this banner with the cupboard is, is going to be um, brown and this one up here is going to be the light blue which I've not really got much light blue at the minute so I'll have to make some of that but uh, once this is done then um, should start looking pretty good in here okay so now on here we need an item frame now it's 12 by 12 the item frames so 16 by 16 so 15 14 13 12 so it needs to start here is where the frame starts uh, and like I said I'm just gonna try do the frame first and see how it works out to see if uh, I need like the main part of it or if it you know, if you can't really see it, then it doesn't matter. So, let's shove all my tools over here. Let me just get these back out. That was a uh, not a very smart idea. There we go. So, all we need for the frame is birch, ew, um, oak, and spruce logs um, for that so we start like this and we just go uh, like this and I've made a design uh, when we do all these building uh, I use an actual screenshot of the item in um, what's it called in vanilla texture pack uh, and I kind of sit on the computer and make kind of a schematic so they're all numbered and then we just put use the number uh, in the hot bar, so that's how we've been doing it to make it a little bit easier. Um, but obviously, sometimes it's more difficult than others. Um, like the cobblestone, I think had uh, eight different blocks, um, whereas the dark oat only had four different blocks. So it's a little bit different um, for each one. Depends on how many different textures are in each kind of block which makes it difficult. One, two, three, four, so six of them and then I need to jump down to do this side so I can do it without dying and then that's the item frame. It's nice and easy, it's like one of the easiest things to build on this is the item frame. So three and then up here we need three, one, uh, two, one. There we go. And just get rid of the netherrack. And that's the outside of the item frame. And then the banner needs to go on top of this. So, mm, my problem was the banner sticks out, I think, two pixels and then comes down. But I'm not sure whether it sticks out two pixels and then the brown bits in front of the second. I'll have to go actually have a look. So, we'll have to go over here switch it back to vanilla again and kind of wish there was a button you just press it and it switches it off oops okay let's go see over here should have built this house a bit closer and didn't have to walk as far when i need to check something okay so the banner okay this is the problem so we've got the item frame I can get a good view of it. So we've got the item frame here, then we've got another pixel here, and then the um, the actual banner front. So there is that little one pixel gap here. So I think I'm going to have to leave that one pixel and build it, and just see, you know, how obvious it is that you haven't got that we haven't got this bit on. If, it, if you can tell, then I'll just make the bit behind it afterwards in place of the area we've got you know just like we did on the on the torch out there so this now just needs to be 
I think a row of uh, I would say spruce and it is one pixel wider than the item frame on each side so I we'll think we'll do this in spruce so let's go up and get that one done um, and then we can start grabbing some stuff for the actual banner I think I need some more concrete I don't think I've definitely not got enough to do the whole thing uh, but luckily it's only like half the size of a normal banner so it will go from here from the item frame all the way to the floor so it will actually touch the floor on this side so uh, let's get this one done okay so I've got the first one pretty much built just needed to add that I ran out of concrete so I just had to add some concrete powder on so that is the main part of the banner so I just need to do the handle in a minute as you can see you can't really tell um, from here unless you come round you can't really tell that it's not got the normal colour in there so I think I'm going to leave it as it is um, like that uh, so the only thing left now to do is the handle now the handle is um let me just check my picture so we've got the dark row here and then we've got i think three rows of pixels and then the handle here i think that's no that doesn't look right it's a little bit difficult to see because um the way the item frames do it, it it keeps the same amount of pixels in an item that you put in but it just makes the pixels look smaller so where the um what's it called the trap door is three pixels wide it's still even though it made it's made smaller it's three pixels wide so i can't really do it three blocks wide so it's kind of it's two pixels down from that line yeah so it's gonna be a no, it's two pixels in, so it's going to be about here, uh, the handle. So we need to try and figure out, it's kind of like a slightly grey colour. So let's see what concrete we've got. We've got lots of light grey. Um, so let's just take some of this. So I'm going to do it two down and two in. So it's going to be here. And we'll just do it three long. Da, da, da. That looks about right compared to what it looks like on the picture. Maybe one. Let's just try it one longer and have a look. Oh, yeah, that looks a little bit better. A little bit longer. Fits a little bit better. So there we go. We've got the first banner done. And that's our little cupboard thing. And now we need to go and make the other one over here. So I'm going to do the exact same thing over here and then go get some blue for the banner that is up on the top of the sofa, which is the banner we use for the um, like pillow uh, sofa cushion kind of thing. So uh, I'll go get that last one built. So on to the last one now. We've got the two banners built on the cupboards there and the last one to go now is this one here. Um, I only got a little bit of light blue wool, so I'm hoping that will be enough. Uh, I think that goes to here. And let me double check. That didn't work. Uh, so we have. Yes, yeah, so we have two blocks empty at the top. Now I figured out, I was looking at the uh, the banner and trying to figure out why uh, the iron trap door thing didn't kind of line up with where mine were and the banners are actually 20 pixels wide so they have smaller pixels so that's why it didn't really work. Um, so I've just kind of done that to where it looks because it needs to fit with the boxes. The, the blocks we've got at this size, so I can't really make them any smaller than they actually are. That is in the wrong place. It needs to be here. Let's try this again. Should have brought shears with me. Always bring shears when I'm working with wool because this takes absolutely ages. I hate having to break um, wool with something that's not shears. Okay. So the outside was a slightly different colour, that's why I'm doing it like this so we have one two three four 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then the wool 11, 12, 13, 14, we need two more. That would make it 16 blocks there. So then this should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's the first block on this row, so that works perfectly. Let's hope I've got enough wool. Should just have it just about have enough wall to do the outline of it. Oops, that's in the wrong place. Go. There we go. And then the rest just needs filling in with the concrete. Well, concrete powder at the minute. I'll just pour water down it to turn it into concrete. It's quicker than. Um, making it into concrete before a build when it's just like this it's easy enough to do this way and then all that's needed on this banner is the uh, the wood bit at the back which I actually left in the chest I put it all back in the chest before so let's just go along with this there we go uh, it's actually the wool's actually lighter, so it's the wrong way around. Um, could possibly use a different kind of wool, although I do like it like that, with it lighter on the outside. So all I need now is to get the things from this chest here. So we need a little bit of birch, a little bit of oak, and a bit of spruce, and get up and do the last the last item frame oh no it's not an item frame on this one it is just the um, the bar across the top that holds it in place but we've got four spruce then we go birch, oak then two spruce oak, birch then four spruce again three, four why does that not fit? hmm have a look at this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, that's I know what I've done. I did it one out because the other one was one out, but the other one was one out from the item frame, not from itself, so this needs to go here. So we have one, two, three, four. Then we have birch, oak, spruce, spruce, oak, spruce. There. That's better. Get my tools back and then get down, and that is all done and complete all my resources and get rid of the nether rack because it looks ugly. Oops. And then we can go on over here and have a quick look so you can see we've got the cupboard there, we've got the cupboard there and we've got the bonnet and the silver there. So it's looking fabulous now. So I think that is actually everything on the ground floor done. Uh, let's get some me eat first before I land too hard I don't want to die let's get up here and fly now we can fly over and have a look from a distance at the whole ground floor obviously we've already started working on the next one uh, because I don't want to make too many episodes I don't really want to make multiple episodes building the same blocks and we've already done cobblestone so let's take a fly up here yeah we've got the glass we built a glass roof on as well because um, the wool was getting set on fire there we go. Oh, that looks <laughs> that looks awesome from this distance. Whee! I wish you could just hover in air in the in midair and take a look of it instead of the movement. But there we have the ground floor all done and complete. Now each of these blocks, well, a lot of these blocks are probably going to have things in at some point. Um, they're all going to have different kind of farms in. As you can see, we've already got. Uh, 
a little bit in here. It's not automated, but it's just a, a supply. Um, so I'm going to do a sugar cane and wheat farm, potatoes, carrots, they're all, and plus animals are all going to be in these blocks. Oh yeah, we've also got the villager breeder in this one here, which is working nicely. Uh, and actually, I built a tunnel from the villager breeder under here, which I've not quite finished. One escaped, but we've not quite finished the tunnel yet, and this just goes underneath to where we've got our trading villages in here at the minute which is being extended then that comes up into the um, chest like that so that is the bottom floor done complete i think we need some more beacons because uh, the house is that big that when you get to the end blocks the beacons don't actually reach you so i think at some point we're going to have to go and spend some time in the nether um collecting with the skulls and um get some more of those skulls and then we can have possibly some beacons over that side and some over that side having speed jump boost and haste on all at the same time is is kind of works really well so if we can get three more and have three on each side that would be great for this but for now they'll have to stay in the middle of the base um, and we'll just have to make sure we build nothing over the top of them so that is the ground floor done and complete and we have worked really hard on this so hopefully we can get on another time and build with steven again um on the next floor for now it's not been too bad having to only get up but from here it's now going to get more and more difficult because uh we fall off quite regularly dying from fall damage from this height doesn't happen very often but when we start getting up to the next one and even higher it's going to be quite a regular thing especially since as that is the height of the house that block all the way up there is the uh the final block height of the whole house so we've still got loads to do now the next things we've got to do is some windows which shouldn't actually take too long we might actually be able to do all the windows well all the ground floor windows in one um in one like session because we've got a bit more of the um the cobblestone to do stephen's obviously started this side and we've got two to do on this side and obviously two on each side here to do and the glass panes, as you can see, are only, um, they're only two pixels thick. And I think to build this, we are just going to use a little bit of light blue, um, probably concrete powder. I think that's the lightest blue you can get. A little, a little bit of that, some white concrete, and then the rest of this is going to be clear glass. And it's not going to look perfect, because obviously, as you can see, clear glass has got these lines on. We can't get it without but all of this um, clear part on the glasses, we're just going to use normal clear glass for. So it will have a little bit of a texture, but you know, not as, you know, not too bad. So that is the next thing we're going to do. So we've got to get glass done, some more cobblestone, and then the rest of these stone brick stairs. And then we can move on to our next one. And then after that, obviously, we've got all the wards. This next level, we're going to need a lot of brown. So I've been stocking up on the... Um, cocoa beans in that little room so i'm going to see if i can make that automated um possibly if we do the glass in the next episode i might see if i can do um a farm at the same time in here but uh, it's going night time again now and i am done whoa let's make it daytime again and i am well i'm done for today so that is all i've got time for it's looking absolutely fabulous it's you know it's really starting to come together and actually look like a house now so anyway that is all i've got time for today guys so don't forget to leave a like if you did like the video and as always don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i will see you guys next time